Hello and welcome to the third race of the PWCom season. I am your host, uh, Mike Wine here. We're going to get ready to go green here at ICAR. Um, starting on pole is Arthur Ruvenharz. Um, to his outside, to his outside will be the number four car of uh, Lucia Del Croix from Italy. So let's get right down to the green flag. Here we come from uh, Montreal, Maribel. We are green here from from Circuit Icar. Here's a dive down into turn number one. They aren't going to get penalized for diving down there in the green this this lap because of everyone really needing that space. But right, right now the 4 car and the 5 car are having a battle for first. And it looks like the 5 car is going to win that battle. Uh, the 5 car was our pole sitter like I said. And there he goes, I think he's got it now. So Arthur Lubenhars uh, to the lead here. Lucia Del Croy from Italy uh, put up a battle. And there's Sinead Rondi, one of the uh, pioneers of the sport, um, along with Zachary Fitzwater. And like I said, on the first lap, no one's going to get real punishment for that because, well, it's the first lap, it's a crapshoot pretty much. Here's a come around. I noticed this corner. Um, this is the last corner uh, before. This is one of the last corners. I mean, there's Lumenhart's leads, uh, Delcroy second, Delcroy second, and third is Aramdi. Not really much is happening right now. Um, the uh, the five car is a uh, really seeing the pull a gap on everyone. Excuse me for that. Uh, we do have a, a a tribute lap to the uh, to Kyle Collins, um, who died in the Arkansas Elite Series, coming up on the next lap. Uh, where it's not going to be commentary, not going to be music, uh, just going to ride along board with the three of Zoom Zuma Beckham. Holy cow, that was! I'm not sure why people slide off like that. Anyways, it's time for that lap. The uh, the tribute lap to Kyle Collins is coming up quicker than what I thought it would. Um, uh, hold in your tears, cause here it comes.
and there it is, a lap around Icar. Um, as you saw, the 14 car hit it. Uh, not sure, and the 9 car. Uh, the 28 did the same thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm assuming there was a flat tire. But tough break for the uh, for these three. They had a really promising run. Uh, Miro Card Sosa Cardoso actually had a uh, good qualifying run here as we're looking through the order. And oh boy, um, Arthur Lubenhart says, uh, all right, hold a cap. One second in the manner, manner of four laps. Here's he's already almost done with the second lap, as the, with the fifth lap. Um, he also holds the fastest lap, uh, fastest lap of the weekend, in fact. Um, he is scary fast. And he just said another one. He just said another fast lap. And the four cars are part of a team. And the four car and the twenty and the nineteen cars teams both have had miserable seasons luck wise. Performance wise, they have been the two dominant teams. But luck wise, they have just not had it. It's great to see one of the pioneers of the sport, uh, uh, Tanet Rondi. And uh, not another one, not another one of the pioneers, but certainly one of the better drivers in Lucia Del Croy. They are having probably one of the better days of their year so far. So good job to them. Not much has really happened here as uh, the field has really began to, uh, the top four have really begun to gap the uh, rest of the field. Um, not much has happened since lap one. Um, not at the front, at least. The only thing that's really changed is Arthur Lubenhars is a gap. Um, just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, the gap does from first, from first to second. It's now 4.69 seconds in only 11 laps. 4.69 seconds in it. It's probably going to get bigger here, as he's also keep he's also kept saying the fastest lap times. Um, this will probably be no exception. One thirty nine. But the gap just keeps increasing. The lead just keeps getting bigger and bigger here. Uh, the, now his lead has got, grown to six, wait, six and a half seconds. Um, I think he's pretty much got those race under wraps. Um, we have green flag pit stops still though, so maybe someone will pull a gamble back here and uh, try to go farther than moving cars, uh, but. He's also a master at saving. Um, I 
I think I'm hearing some short shifting out of Luven Mars, and he's still going faster than anyone else. As the 21 has a second fastest lap time, but he's falling off, I think. But we still have pit stops. Um, I think it's going to begin here with uh, Nicholas Lothar or Irvine. I'm sorry for mispronouncing it earlier in this year season. Uh, but Nicholas is on the gas. Uh, <laughs> No, maybe it was unscheduled because no one else has come. Doesn't seem like anyone else is coming in yet. Maybe this was just a strategy call by a uh, by a uh, team Buckman and then try a different strategy for the 22. I mean, they have a driver driver up the front. I mean. Why not try something with the road driver and try again with the front? But I don't know if the 22 will have enough fuel for the rest of the race. Whoa, and the 19 just dives it in there. So the five car is finally backing off. Um, he lost 0 .2, 0 0.02 seconds, so one 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 thousandth of a second. So maybe the four car is gaining back on him. Uh, I mean, he did run the fastest his fastest lap time just then uh, just a lap ago so let's see uh, what they do this time the gaps increasing again so it must have just been one lap or just try to put up the fastest lap but moving hard is dominating that the machine from Germany uh, Putting on a show for the fans here. But we still have pit stops, so I mean it's not over yet, but we still have pit stops to renew those tires for more fast stops, so just keep that in mind as we go forward. The gap is building more and more um, for Arthur. Um, here's we'll see what it is coming to the line. He, he has the whole front threat. He has the whole front stretch on the, the field. So and it's game. He he's he's gotten more of a gap, give or take. As uh, there's become a uh, a gap from from the 23 uh, Hashim, uh, Hashimoto, yeah, to the 13 uh, of Ryder Smith. Excuse me, there. My mouse accidentally clicked outside of an R. Outside, so so we'll see how uh, how the five did uh, strategy-wise. Uh, 
We're nearing the, uh, the time where you need to uh, need to execute um, pit stops, I guess, as you should put it. We're getting closer and closer to that. The gap's just been growing, and I've heard from over uh, Luvenhars' uh, radio that they will be pitting this time. It's eight, almost nine seconds of a gap now. I'm sure that they could get out, get in, get out um, of the pit stall before he, Wallach even hears about Luvenhars, even sees Luvenhars' pit. Luckily, though, we don't share pit stalls here. Thank, thank the Lord for that. Um, that would be terrible. <laughs> but the machine from Germany showing the class what, how to put together a race multiple, multiple times. Okay, so here comes the five car to start the pit cycles. Um, here, let me get into one of the pit cameras. Just give me a moment. There, we are... Uh, Pit cycles are underway, underway. Excuse me for that. Um, 13 and Ryder Smith is in. A lot of people not coming in. Although, I did kind of expect that as Luvenhars is already gone. So the 21 did play a strategy, um, let me get to the 21. There you are, Fitzwater played a strategy, although I am not too keen, sure on how it will benefit or uh, hurt him uh, staying out a little later. Um, I'm sure it might hurt him uh, staying out on tired worn tires, but as you may see from other racing series on this planet, um, sometimes waiting helps. But we don't know that till we try. Um, luckily though for this race series, oh I heard someone hit the wall, um, I'm pretty sure that's off the corner, um, but there's Fitzwater, but Luckily for this series, you only get one shot at the dice, um, to roll the dice, um, so here comes the rest of the field. So that's Fitzwater, um, I'm sure others are coming in, uh, the 15 car of Audrey Bear and Alskis is in, uh, the, uh, one of the, gosh darn it. One of the White House cars. See, I can tell which car freaking with their beans. It, the Twilight Reams is from a mile away. Oh, the 21 car got out in front of the. Uh, is that the 4 car? That's the 4 car. Good job by the. Great stop by the 821 car team. Uh, that might have helped. Uh, waiting might have helped as well. But I guess pit strategy really counts on who's your pit crew. Is the 21's going to get a pass made on him? Although I'm sure he will be able to fight back. No, but I'm pretty sure he will get a uh, podium as well. Uh, but 
I said I was pretty sure about him being able to fend off the uh, position, and he didn't. The 8 car is going with the battle with him. Uh, the 8 car does have the pit still though, so... That's how far off some people are. As he is blocking the 19 car. As I think he's coming in this lap as the 9 car uh, is pushed wide, the 8 car I mean is pushed wide by the 19 car and there he goes into the pits. Um, so now it's time to see uh, who will win this battle for the last spot on the podium. Pitwara has it, the 19 car wants it. The 19 car does have more power though, so... The 19's all over that 21 car. Um, Pitbar hasn't been the quickest car all out there. Uh, he's been one of the quicker cars, but... The 19's quicker. Let's see if he can fend off this position. However, the 5 car is pretty much the winner. Um, all he needs to do is cross the line without any problems. Oh, the, 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 the 19 almost dumped the 20. One, um, I mean, no harm, no foul so far. 21's kept his position, and I think the 19's backing off. 21's uh, objective was apparently to get the podium at all costs. So while all the battling's been going on in the back, Arthur Luvenhars is going to take the white flag last lap here from uh, Montreal Mirabel. Mirabel, I mean. The only thing that's really raw, um, the only thing that's really, uh, he hasn't won yet, it, uh, Luvenhars hasn't in PWCon, it's the championship itself. That was stolen from him last year by Sebastian Maynard. Not stolen, but um, had an inconsistent season last year, last uh, time we were out, so... Arthur Luvenhart is a man on a mission to win a championship. We'll see the check in her flag for the second time this year. This time, it will be in Montreal Mirabel for the Circuit I car here in Vancouver. Uh, not Vancouver. Ah, uh, man, I had it perfect. Second will be Lucia Del Croy, and to round out the podium will be Zachary Fitzwater Sr. I'm just edging out the Poutine car. The 19 of uh, Tanette Arandi. And fifth is the 15 car of Andre Baranaskis. And that was your top five.
We will get down to your finishing results shortly.